Yo, it's your boy back with part two on my top five favorite albums and talking about Spotify. But first, before we talk about Spotify, let's get back to my third favorite album of all time, which is Born to My Nose. I'm sorry, my, sorry, my second favourite album of all time to be done number three and that was My Mother of an Imperfect Danger by Mariah Carey, sorry about this. Number two is A. Marie Touch, that's A. Marie Touch. Now, like, I basically love this, I mean every album I've, talk, I've talked about right here, I love all the tracks off here, yeah? these are about picking my favourite tracks right, but if you look at what I've put down on my notes about the East album yeah, and the tracks that I like, it's basically most of the album, but the tracks that stand out for me, because I love a bit of Anne-Marie man, I love, right, all of her albums basically, and a lot of the tracks off them albums, except her new one, out of I you know, bought a new album for yes, long time waiting. It's gonna be good, man. Her pretty brown eyes featuring Trey songs, sick track, to primary. Love the beats, love the words, the lyrics, man. Love all that. All good. Let's go with this shit. Yeah. Get the album. Man. Don't know. Like, don't really like any track tracks off it, man. There ain't no because I, I like tracks that pop pop out. I love them all. No tracks that I've, I'm hearing except Pretty Bad Eyes. Pop out, man. Why are you? Yeah. The two singles that she released were the best. Why are you? Yeah, got something going on. But it ain't typical Emma, right? Yeah, no, it ain't that typical short, sort of sh sweet beat that I like, man. It's just like, yes, yes. It's, not, it's all good. But, you know, there just aren't enough tracks on there like that. So it's a big disappointment. In Livermore. But anyway, we're talking about Touch here. So my first top track off the album Touch is all I need. That's wicked man. She just goes into it man, she's starving. It goes in my heart, in my all I need, in my all I need. Do, 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 and then yeah, it just goes into it. Fucking wicked track. Wiki, wiki lyrics, all of that man, the beats, a killer on it, rolling down my face, what a track man, love rolling down my face, all good man, like it used to be, sick track, top track, love the beat on that as well, uh, come with me, obviously, killer track, come with me, why don't we fall in love, now this is important, why don't we fall in love, wiki track, but it has to be the rich craft mix, any other mix and the original I don't like for what reason it's just too slow. The Richcraft mix actually gives it, you know, what it should be man, is that the you know sped up it you know the mix does the song favours, which is not always the case with songs when they're mixed in my opinion. But with the Richcraft mix of why don't we fall in love? Killer. One thing, great track anyway, without E but with E killing it, nothing can touch it, man, one thing featuring Eve, Eve just adds that killer bit of rhyme that, you know, I lo you know, some tracks need sometimes, can't argue with it, you know, one thing, can we go sick track featuring Carl Thomas, you know what I mean, pure great R&B track and more, my view on it, uh, can we go is, not the only one, great track man, love the beat on that, it's all good, uh, just like me, another great track off it, and my last favourite album, uh, favourite track off the album, sorry, is Falling. It's wicked great, on yeah, all good man. Basically, a lot of the tracks on the album, not all the albums I've talked about that uh, are my favourites. I'm just trying to pick a few, and if you ain't noticed. They're all for the same reason, because as I said, that's why I look for the beats, so you can't complain. Now, number one, greatest album I've ever listened to, this is hands down, 
always will be the one, the only, the game with the documentary. I'll tell you, my favourite tracks off that. Killer Beats, well, great producer on it, Dr. Dre, of course, all of that, all good, man. Alright, uh, top, top, best rap lyricist in the world, probably since Nas, man, probably, yeah, since Nas, man, but him for the, the zeros, man, just kill it, just kill it, man. And when, I can't wait till um, R.E.D., the Red Album, drops in, in March, gonna be killer, gonna be killer, possibly his last album, but. I hope not, so if it is he's treating me as his last album, then you know it's going to be sick, you know, because I love LAX, I've loved every single album really, you know, but for me, documentary just kills it, and my favourite track from the documentary, don't need your love, Mary J Blige, just, Mary J Blige, just adds that extra kick to the track man, that smoothness, you know, I don't need your love. Mom Mary and just the, you know the game obviously just kills it. The documentary, great start. Seeing the YouTube video, the start of the track is taken off, and it yeah, it's just a great track. Start from scratch, you know, wicked track. You know, great, you know, great lyrics, great lyrics, really heartfelt. Can't you know? Can't be messing with start from scratch. Really heartfelt lyrics, man. And yeah, yeah. And like, it's cool. You know, in that thread, did it while they were drunk. They got drunk for the track, man. It's fucking sick. Running another great track. Hey, I love it. Quarter with 50 Cent. Yes, man. Can't doing that. Hey, I love it. Like, father, like, son. Another great heartfelt track, man. Because, you know, it just reminds me of my. Uh, close relationship with my dad, my best soul daddy, love you, and you know, it's just great, I felt, just how I felt track, I love you man, but it's some coming into the world, it's all good, and higher, and my last favourite track is higher, album man, you know, another great track, sick beats, all of that, the game, hands down, greatest level assist in the game, the game, greatest level in the game. So yeah, those are my top four albums. I want to know your top four albums. Comment, rate, subscribe, all of that. And in the comments, tell me your top four favourite albums, top five. Because I want to know.